Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. This time I'm going to show you how to make a bootable Windows 11 DVD. If you're upgrading from Windows 10 to 11, I did make another video on that that I'll link here. And if for some reason you need to reinstall Windows 11 and the built-in utility isn't working, you might need a DVD. And if you want to have a disk that you can install to another computer, either a USB or a DVD, then you're going to need to download the image here. So on this website, we got three different options for downloading Windows 11. So the first one here is just for the computer that you're currently on. So that means your computer is already working. Maybe it's on Windows 10 and you want to upgrade it to 11. Although it's not recommended to do it from here, you should make sure that it's compatible. I do have another video on upgrading from Windows 10 to 11 that I'll link to in here. Further down here, more importantly, is to create the Windows 11 installation media. So we're going to come back to that in just a moment. This is where we can create a bootable USB or DVD. But the third one down here is to download an ISO image, which you can also use to create a bootable USB or DVD. But because you have an ISO image, you can use this in virtual machines as well. So you would just select what type, which the only one available is the multi-edition ISO image. And then you would just download that and you have the ISO file. But we're going to go in through the installation media and we'll run through that. You can look at before you begin on any one of these things and it'll tell you a few things such as that you need to have a 8 gig uh, DVD which means a dual layer DVD disc or a USB disc that is at least 8 gigs in size. So we're going to download this. Once we downloaded the installation media we can run that and it'll take a moment before it gets going. You'll have to accept the license agreement. And here it's defaulting to the information based on the computer that you're currently on. So you might want to uncheck this because it's not really going to be for this computer. Most likely you want to use it on multiple and you may see other options here. Right now at the shooting of this video, there's only one option for Windows 11. And then you can change your country if it's not uh, picking it up by default, but it should be getting the correct one based on your computer. We'll hit next. And this is where you can choose to go to a USB flash drive. And it reminds you here again that it's got to be at least 8 gigs or an ISO file that you can burn to a DVD. So it's still going to do the ISO file image that it did on the other if you're using a DVD. Otherwise, a USB flash drive, it'll just go straight to it. I'm using a DVD in this case. So now I'm saving the Windows 11 ISO file. Once it's done downloading the file, then it verifies it and it starts to create the actual media. Now you're ready to actually burn the ISO file that you've downloaded to the disk and you can do that straight from here. So it gives you the location of where the file is. If that doesn't work for you, you can just go straight to finish. And even though we don't have the ISO image burned yet, we're going to have to do this manually. So if you go into your downloads and find where you downloaded that file, by default it may just have said Windows, but I renamed mine to say Windows 11 because I've got different images here. You can right click on it and go, if you're in Windows 10, you'll see burn disk image. If you're in Windows 11, when you right click, you're going to have to go down to show more options before you see the option to burn the disk image. Then it will open up the window here with the file and the disk name, which should appear automatically for you. You can check on verify the disk after burning, which is a good idea to make sure that it was successful and then hit burn. At this point, it's going to run for a while to burn the actual image file that's been extracted onto the disk for you. Once it's finished burning, you'll be able to just close out of all the windows, pop out the disk, write on it that it's a Windows 11, 
and you're good to use that on any computer to do a fresh install or repairs with. And if you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.